important to start uh, the routing protocols one more very important concept that is distance vector and in this distance vector you can get the lap the uh, uh, like in your theoretical thing okay so in both the ways you are you will be benefited if you will understand the concept of your distance vector algorithm moving towards your next one here you can see the distance vector algorithm uh, it is based on your it is based on your uh, like bellman ford algorithm equation and also on the dynamic programming fine so here what is my equation says so here this is the equation and uh, you have to utilize this equation if you are going to find out the minimal cost uh, value of your uh, any of the algorithm whatever has been prescribed fine so here you can see i have this is the uh, equation where the d of x y okay so it means that x will be my source and uh, there will be some uh, like if you want to find out from x to y so x will be your source and y will be your uh, destination so if you are going to find out the uh, least cost or you can say the shortest path in between your x to y by using this bellman ford algorithm you have to go for this formula okay so here if you are using then what will be uh, how you are going to find out so here you can see the first thing is here it i have written inside the equation c x comma v so c x comma v in the sense you have to find out the cost of uh, the link in between x to v okay so if there is a direct contact or direct link in between x to v the cost of that you are going to place over here then what do you mean by this dv of y this one will be your estimate estimated cost like suppose if there is no direct contact in between v to y then through which path you are following and you are finding out the shortest route so that value you are going to keep keep over here then what will be this minimum of v so this one will be nothing but this one will be the never route which is going to find out the shortest uh, like uh, shortest route from your v of your x we will see this equation how it is been utilized in our algorithm so i am i'm going to finish up this algorithm okay i'm going to solve this uh, example then the next examples you can try it out so this is in a network the blue color you can see that is a network and here i have some nodes how many nodes are there there are some six nodes that is u v w x y z okay so here uh, the source node will be let's take it as u and the destination node let's take it as z so now i have my job is to find out the shortest route in between u to z as you can see the diagram you don't have any direct contact from u to z so what you need to find out you have to pass through x v w or y to find out the shortest route towards your z the, so next what you are going to do the first thing you can see uh, if i'm starting from u and if i want to go to your like uh, z then how you how you are going to find out the shortest route you have to find out you by seeing the nodes and the cost of the nodes you can check it out that see here the first thing i have given here u to v is 2 okay so i want to find out from v to z which one will be the shortest path so let's take this route 3 2 3 and 5 so it is 8 if i'm going towards this 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 2 5 so this is less than 8 so i can follow this route i have one route also 2 plus 3 5 plus 5 10 this is more next one is 2 Plus three five plus one six plus two eight. So that is also more. So what I can do? The shortest route will be two plus one three plus two five. So I can write here five. Next, if I want to find out the shortest route from x to z directly, you can see over here one plus two equals to three. If you want to check it out, you can go from this any of the routes because here there are many paths are the, uh, like uh, there the links are there. You can go to any path and check it out the values. If it is less than that, then you can replace over here. But I feel this is the least uh, least cost whatever I got from X to Z. 
then if you want to find out uh, for the w then how it will how much it will be see w to z there is a direct contact which where the cost will be 5 but there is a indirect contact where the cost is 3 so always this one will take the distance wherever the cost will be less so if the cost it can follow this route and the cost will be 3 now the next thing you can see i have to utilize this formula okay so how i'm going to utilize this uh, equation if you want to find out the distance of u to z then your formula should be how many nodes are there from your u you can see from here uh, here this is one node or one link this is another link this is another link so there are three links are going out so if i'll consider the first one let me take from u to v so first i need to find out the cost of u to v so that's what i have written over here cost of u comma v plus next what you are going to find out you should find out the distance the shortest distance from v to z so that's what i have written from v to z because z is my destination node next i have to consider one more way there is one more way which is getting connected with my x so the cost of u comma x you have to write plus the distance of x comma x of z so that's what it has been written over here next one you can see which is connected from u to w so i have to write see cost of u comma w and the distance of w to z but you cannot utilize this y because it is not directly contacted with your u with your source node so next what you are going to do the minimum of the cost of u comma v is how much here it is you can see this is 2 and the d v of uh, distance v to z already you got answer as 5 so you are going to write over here how you found just now i have explained you next one if you want to see the cost of u comma x that will be 1 and then distance of x comma z okay so that is how much already we have got the answer as 3 so i'm going to write over here 3 next you are going to find out distance of u come to w so u to w the cost is 5 and the distance is 3 i have written 5 plus 3 now what i'm going to do is i have to find out what is the value here 2 plus 5 it is coming around uh, 7 okay the next value is coming around your 4 and the next value is coming around your 8 fine so which one is the minimum of your all these three that is your fourth one so fourth one will be your answer fine so in this way you need to find out these things and also you remember uh, once you have uh, done with this next thing will be like you need to find out how you are going to uh, like uh, uh, you if i will go for this how you are going to find out each node you have to find out and also you need to do the tabular form that also i will show you how you are going to do the tabular form here okay so here you can see the distance of your u to z the shortest path if it wants to follow it can go through u to x then x to y then y to z so that will be the shortest route you can see here 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 2 4 we got the answer as 4 also now this is one more example you just observe this example how it is happening and simultaneously you please do it also because in one diagram you cannot you should have the color pens if you have the color pens it will be easy to notify you just see the diagram first here i have taken the s is my source node this is one example here i have taken the source is my s okay so what i'm going to do is i have to find out the shortest path from the s okay as s is my source node so i want to find out the shortest path i will tell you from where to where i want to find out from s to a okay now here it has the question is how many edges are there so how many edges are there from s to a you can see here s2 here here and here so there are three edges you can say this also as one edge okay but here also there are maximum three edges are there next if i will consider about the b okay where is my b my b is over here so if i want to find out the uh, edges in between s to b how many edges are there one two three four five see check it out here i have written five but you cannot go from this side to this side because the arrow mark is in opposite direction if i want to find out to d how i'm going to find out how many uh, edges will be there 
so i have to uh, find out from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay so my edges will be from here to here will be 7 so now if you want to find out uh, uh, like how what is the cost of each one in that time how you are going to find out so this is my bellman ford algorithm always you need to take the iterations okay how you are going to take the iterations values this is my source node if i am writing this values as green color it means that that values has already been fixed okay so in the first iterations you remember whenever you will do the diagram you will do the uh, like tabular form that time you have to take care properly you need to write it whenever we are going to start always the source node will have the value as zero and the other nodes will have the value as infinity that is a first iterations you can see all the iterations the value was infinity and here the value is as zero so now next case what we are going to do is in our iteration 1 okay you can observe the uh, diagram here in my iterations 1 if i want to start from s so s ha is having two links okay so here one and here one so if i am going to uh, towards this then you can see here Uh, what is the cost of this i have written it as uh, red color because i am not sure that this one will be my list cost or not so here i got the value was 10 and also you can see the cost over here what is the value has written 10 so now let it to be 10 and one more way is also present so here the cost is 8 so i have written here as 8 so next what i am going to do i have to finalize so i should go for the next iteration but for this iterations whatever the value of a and g before that it was infinitive now the value has been changed to 10 and 8 and the re uh, remaining nodes value will be same you can see here i have not uh, touched to any other nodes next one we have to see that as a has connected to g this g is also connected to f and uh, this a is also connected to e because this is a uh, outgoing direction you can see always the directions okay bellman ford algorithm always carries the directions okay so if i am going to consider from s to f then what will be my value here already i have got the value before as 8 so here this cost is as 1 so add both the things 8 plus 1 it is 9 but let it to be 9 because i don't know it will be my least cost or not but here what i got if i am considering this 10 for the timing because i didn't get in my second iterations any less value that's why let it to be in the green color then 10 Plus two, this value as it is, as it is going in this way, ten plus two, my value will be twelve. Okay, so here what happens? You got the value was nine and twelve. So now your value of nodes A, G, F, E has got some of the values, and the remaining nodes got as infinity value. Then next we have to go for the iteration three. now in iteration 3 what happens is you can see some values are getting changed what happened here because as before that it was 10 okay as you remember before that it was 10 and 10 plus 2 it was 12 now what happened here uh, as here this is the 8 okay and this one as 9 and uh, we came to know that this a is having the shortest cost that is your 9 so what will happen it here also there is a connectivity towards your a right so in your iteration 3 that if you have any negative values you are going to do the negative uh, subtraction only so 9 minus 4 will be 5 and if you will compare the 10 and 5 5 is having the least cost so you should have 5 over here and if you are keeping the 5 here then the next value what will happen this side i have not checked as this has got confirmation so 9 minus 1 will be 8 and previously it was having 12 so 12 if i will compare with the 8 so 8 is having the least cost so i'm going to change the value over here but as still it has not been confirmed let it to be in the red color let's move towards your iteration 4 so uh, now in iteration 4 what will happen as it has been 5 it has been confirmed that there is no other way to get the value less than 5 so this one will be 5 plus 1 it will be as 6 okay uh, next one what will happen here uh so here you can see 5 plus, uh, before that it was 8 9 minus 1 8 but here what happened as it has been confirmed with 5 so 5 plus 2 will be 7 so if you will compare 8 and 7 you got as 
uh, seven is the least. Okay, so here what will happen again next? Here you can see you got some six. So from your six to uh, like um, uh, here you can see seven plus minus two, so six you got. So just check it out about this uh, C11, how you got it. So here the cost is five and this cost is six. So five plus six, you got the value was 11. So for this D, D as we have not touched anywhere, so till now it is in the infinitive stage. So now in the fifth iterations, what is happening? Now you came to know that this side it was seven. And if I'm taking this minus two, before that it was six, but it was in a negative direction, okay? When we added, it was in the uh, like opposite direction, but we added to get the shortest path, but it was wrong. So now you got again the proper direction. So seven minus two, you got it as five. So comparing six and five, you got it as five. Okay, so as this is your five, now next value, how you are going to check it out? So next thing you are going to see, okay, I hope you people understood. So you are going in this way, S to A. The thing is that you need to find out where you are going to get the path, okay? How it has been connected with this. If you want, you can go in this way, wherever you are getting the shortest route, in that way you should go and you should find out the shortest route. So if you will do in that way, then you will get the correct path and correct value of your all the nodes, okay? So in your iteration six also, again, you can see some values has been changed because there is some negative thing also and some positive values also will be there and you are going to, it is going to be changed. And you remember, if you have uh, eight nodes, then you should have the iteration as seven because it will follow the equation as n minus one. So you are going to follow that one. Okay, so in this way, we are. You can see my all the values will became like uh, green color, and this is also the last node which we have been touched, and this is also green only. So now you can see the, in this way I have been solved. So here I have not so, shown you that how you are going to put all these things in your um, like a tabular form. So I have one more diagram that is one more example here you have to put all these things in this way okay you are going to keep all these nodes in this way according to this diagram this is the node in the first diagram always i used to show that uh, how the values are getting changed for each node but once you have done the one iteration the first value you should write here iterations okay you should write over here uh, yeah, here you add one more as uh, iterations. So in your zeroth iteration, these things happen. This is your first iterations here, okay? If I will write over here, this is your zero iterations. This is your one iterations. So like that you are going to continue, okay? So that things you remember, you add one more over here uh, to know uh, that is your iteration values, okay? So quickly, for uh, you just solve this things and uh, just match the answers with this tabular and just check it out it is coming correctly or not so this is all about your Bellman for algorithm and there is a program also that also will check it out